Hello everyone, Dan here again with Pro Hoopla Web Design. I'm going to show you real quick how to access and use your GoDaddy email account, if that's the one that we set up for you. Really fast way, really cool stuff here. Type in email dot and the name of your website, dot com, dot net, whatever it is, and that takes you to the login page. It's that simple. Alright, so in our case, Pro Hoopla, alright, dot com. Oh. Email dot again. This is the name of our email website. Okay. Search. All right. Boom. There it is. Workspace login. Do the support one. I already have my password set in there. Oh yeah, I changed it. Okay. And here we go. This email platform is a little bit different than a. Uh, traditional email platforms like Gmail, Hotmail, Yahoo, etc. Um, just only in terms of where things are placed. Uh, we're going to jump over here. This is where you compose. This is where you make a new email. Uh, anyway, here's where you're going to send it to primarily. The CC, okay? Carbon copy is what this originally stands for. This is basically just where else you want to send it. You want to send it to more than one person, you'll put the secondary personnel or email addresses under CC. Here's your typical subject. Your typical ad attachment for files, images, etc. Um, and that's about it. Once you're done, up here, send. Okay. And this is where you're going to be to check all your emails. You can click on any of these. Um, it'll open up. You can delete them as you'd like. Reply forward. Just take a minute to just kind of slowly look around, see where stuff's at. Um, that's basically going to be everything in a nutshell. There's a lot of really cool features on here, though. Uh, take some time, look around. Well, here's another option for Compose, by the way. There's one over here and one over here. Um, you probably noticed when I went to Compose email, again, over here, I have a personal signature automatically uploaded. Okay? Really easy to create that. All right. Settings. Go to Personal Settings. All right. Current password and all that stuff. If you want to change it, probably don't worry about that. Go to Signature. This is going to be... Uh, just in this little box right here, we're going to give you all your editing tools to create the signature that you'd like. Hit OK, and that's it. Also, of course, right here you want to select to automatically insert it when you want to. Um, okay, I don't want to change anything. I want to cancel. You would hit OK. Uh, let's go back in there. Personal settings. Auto reply. Yes, for businesses. If somebody sends you a message of some kind and you can't immediately respond to it, but you want to show them, you know, that it's. Uh, Thank you, first of all, for contacting you, and you look forward to getting back to them as soon as you can, something along those lines. Here's where you're going to set your uh, your automatic reply, okay? A bunch of little details as to uh, how you'd like that to be displayed. Okay, basically, email aliases, if you wanted to do something else at ProHoopla.com, if you were me, say Dan, Dan at ProHoopla, I'd add that here, okay? And then if somebody sent me an email to Dan at ProHoopla.com, it would still automatically forward and go to support at prohoopla.com. That's what I wanted it to do. Okay, that's that in a nutshell, and as usual, we're going to do the recap. First of all, I'm going to log out here, so we can do that from the beginning. Google. Alright. Well, I lied to you. We're going to go to the GoDaddy way first. Alright. GoDaddy.com. You can log in here. Alright, my account email and again this is quite a bit different than how the website tonight and GoDaddy looked um, even just a few weeks back All right. you launch and that takes you into your general primary control center okay this isn't checking email right now this is messing with your settings that you have on your email okay you change your password here um, how much space you have available. A lot of times you'll have a, a one or two gigabytes for space, but you want to spread that over, over several different email addresses. You'll decide how many uh, to allot to this email. You'll go to create the next one, etc. Okay, again, you can get back into the auto, auto reply. You can set that kind of stuff here. And then if you had more accounts available, you see you wanted to buy another one, right in this area, you would hit add. Before you did that, though, over here you would set up. I have all these different ones available, different email or different uh, 
Hot domains that I own. You want to set up. To start a new, uh, start a new email account. And from that, again, right here, this will be highlighted. You can click Add at that point. And there is where you would go to launch the email. Let's look at that again. Okay. Right here's going to be Launch. You have some more tools here. Don't worry about those. Launch Webmail. This, again, is going to take you to the same place that we got to in the original. So you notice that there's a lot of different ways to get there. Uh, the last one I just showed you. You have to go pretty far into the system to get to where you want to be. Um, so we're going to recap again one last time with a super easy way of getting there. The word email dot your website dot com. In our case pro hoopla and boom, there you go. Uh, once you've done this once, you already have um, you're already logged in. You want to try another account entirely? You can try that. Otherwise, this is where we're supposed to be at. Okay. Ah, I keep forgetting I changed that. Anyways, compose a brand new one is where you would be here. Otherwise, you would select one. Uh, say right there, for example. Go to reply. No, typical email. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. That's about it.